students so now we are learning graphical procedure uh, for shear sure, leg experiment so here as i have shown it here the first one is a front leg then the back leg so here we can see this is front leg this is back leg the distance between two leg it is called a spread so this is spread this is tie member okay and this is a base so these all elements we are going to we are uh, need uh, while drawing the graphical procedure so let's start so initially we are starting with the scalar diagram and we are going to start with the spread so spread you take a suitable scale and draw a spread here so initially we are starting with the scalar diagram so for scalar diagram scalar diagram so here you take a suitable scale and draw spread so let's draw a spread like this okay you take some say, a suitable scale now you take front leg length okay you have already measured length of front leg and you also have a length of back leg so when you do the arc here take compass and mark the length and then just connect i am just drawing it's not by the scale but you have to take a scale and properly join this point so here what you will get you will get the length of back leg back leg is this and the length of front leg is this and this is our spread Now what you have to do, you have to take a midpoint here and draw median. Okay, so this median will bisect this particular spread. So this is called as median. So this is important terminology again. This is important factor because this median is it's a reference line. Okay, this is median. So what is median exactly? So it is actually a imaginary member. You know, it is representing the mid of this. This is our median. I'll just use different color. Okay, so this is our median. Okay, just this is just for representation. We are going to use it for graphical procedure. So this is our first diagram. So first scalar diagram is over. Now let us go to the scalar diagram second. Okay. Now if you see it from this side, okay, you can see this triangle. So this triangle, okay, this side, this portion I am talking about. So when you see this, you can see a base, a tie member, and a median. Okay, so the same thing we are, we are drawing here. So let us draw base. Take a suitable scale and draw this base. Okay, you may draw it like this, and then take a length of tie. You already have a length of tie member. Okay, so just uh, take a compass and draw a tie member, and take a compass and measure this median. So this graph will be in between tie and median. Okay, so this graph can be plotted like this. If you take a tie and median, you will get some plot like this. So in this, I'm just trying to draw it again. Okay, so like this, you will get one graph, one diagram. So this is our base, this is our tie member, and this is our median. So this is second diagram. The same diagram. This is our diagram number two. So same diagram. If you want the orientation of diagram, can also be like this. You can keep this diagram like this. Base you can draw horizontally, and then uh, you know other diagrams, other uh, respective tie member. Uh, you can draw. So this way also, if you draw, it is fine. The same diagram can be drawn like this. Both way you can draw, it is perfectly fine. So this is our base. This is our tie member. This is median. So any type of orientation is fine. Okay, this is or here, or this or this. Both way it is fine. So we are done with the scalar diagram. Now let us see the vector diagram. So for vector diagram, vector diagram is it indicates forces. Okay. So let's see vector diagram now. So we have done with the diagram number one and two. Now let's see diagram number three. And four. So vector diagram. Now vector diagram is here. The uh, force factor will come. Okay. So what we have to do? You have to take what load we have applied. Right here in this pan, we add some load. Right. So we start with 0.5 kg. 
then 1 kg, then 1.5 kg. We have 3 graphs, right? So, we are now drawing this for say 0.5 kg. So, here what we do, we will plot applied load. So, let us take applied load. So, if it is 0.5 kg, so you may take a scale as 0.25 as a 1 unit. So, it will be approximately 2 units will be considered. Now, here what you have to do for this vector diagram, this diagram is ready with us, okay? So, now draw a line parallel to this and parallel to this, okay? So, let us draw a line parallel to this and then take this line parallel to this, okay? So, let me just tell you this is parallel to this and this is parallel to this. This is our vector diagram, okay? Here also you have to write a scale, suitable scale you have to take. And here it is applied load. Whatever load we have used. So this is our applied load. Now here you will get force in time member. Force in time member you will get. And this median is anyway, it is just for reference. Okay. Now the Fourth diagram. So we have done with the third diagram. Now for the fourth diagram, what you have to do, you have to consider this median length. Okay, just draw this median length. Whatever centimeter is there, just draw it here. Okay, the same length you have to draw. And for this median length, just come to this diagram. So if this diagram is having two angles, so this is theta one, this is theta two. Okay, so theta one is with back leg and theta two is the with the front leg. So now you draw these angles you have to plot it here. Okay, theta 1 and theta 2 you measure and plot it here. And whichever angle corresponds to whichever leg. So theta 1 is corresponding to back leg. So say if this is theta 1, so in this case this will be force in back leg. And if you have plotted theta 2 here, so this is this will be force in front leg. Okay. So finally you are getting forces in back leg, front leg and you are also getting force in tire members. Okay. So there are three members if you see. Front leg, back leg and tire members. Okay. These three members are there and that is what the aim of the apparatus. That we have to find out aim of the experiment. To find out forces in front leg, back leg and tire member. So now you have the graphical data with you. And you have the experimental data so you will calculate respective percentage error okay so how you will calculate percentage error so whatever graphical reading you got so graphical minus experimental by graphical graphical minus experimental by graphical into 100 so this will give you respective Uh, error. So like this you have to draw three graphs okay because we have taken three loadings so first is 0.5 then one then 1.5 kg so you can take different loadings and you have to draw like this three graphs. So the graph will be 1, 2, 3 and 4 so two graph scalar diagram and two are vector diagram okay. So this way you have to follow the procedure. Okay. Thank you.